Now, we know how to subtract the same number of units from a two-digit number, and we know how to subtract from a multiple of 10 using our knowledge of number bonds to 10. Now, we can combine these skills to make subtracting easier, doing something called bridging. Let me show you what I mean. So here, we have 43 minus 5. So we write 43 at the end of our number line, we have four tens and three units. Now if we take away those three units, then we'll have just four tens or 40. Now let's break up one of those tens so we can subtract some more. So we've subtracted three, but we want to subtract five. So we need to subtract two more because 3 and 2 make 5. So if we subtract 1, 2 units, we're left with 38. And remember, we're subtracting from a multiple of 10, so if we subtract 2 units, our answer will have 8 units, because 2 and 8 make a number bond to 10. So to recap, we subtracted the units from our two-digit number, so here we subtracted 3, and then we subtracted 2 more, because 3 and 2 make 5. So if you subtract 3, then you subtract 2, you've subtracted 5. So 43 minus 5 is 38. Now we have 66 take away 7. So there's 66 on our number line, and we're starting with 6 tens and 6 units. Now if we take away those 6 units all in one go, then we're left with 6 tens or 60. Now let's break up one of those tens so we can subtract some more. So we've subtracted 6, but we want to subtract 7. So we need to subtract one more, because 6 and 1 make 7. So if we subtract 1, we're left with 59. So, we subtracted 6 units from the 66 that we started with. Then we subtracted one more, because we wanted to subtract 7. And if you subtract 6, then you subtract 1 you've subtracted 7 altogether. So 66 take away 7 is 59. Now 41 minus 4. So we start on 41, which is 4 tens and 1 unit. What are we going to do first? Well, we start by subtracting subtracting the units from our two-digit number, and we only have one unit. So if we subtract one, then we have four tens, so we have 40. Now let's break up one of those tens so we can subtract some more. And how many more will we need to subtract? Well, if we've subtracted one and we want to subtract four, we'll have three more to subtract, because 1 and 3 make 4. Now we're subtracting 3 from a multiple of 10, so if we didn't have those blo these blocks here, we could use number bonds to help us. So 3 and what number make 10? Well, 3 and 7 make 10, so our answer is going to be 37. And we can check that by, if we go 1, 2, 3, we're left with three tens and seven units, so 37. So we subtracted one to get to our multiple of 10, and then we subtracted three, so altogether we subtracted four. So 41 minus four is 37. Okay, this is our last question. So we start with 56, which is 5 tens and 6 units. Now pause the video and see if you can answer this question by bridging like we've been doing. 
So we start with 56, which is 5 tens and 6 units. So what's the first thing that we're going to do? Well, we can take away those 6 units, and when we do that, we're left with 5 tens, so 50. Now let's break up one of those tens so that we can subtract some more. And how many more are we going to subtract? Well, we want to subtract 9, and so far we've subtracted 6, so we're going to need to subtract 3 more to get our answer. Now, I know that 3 and 7 make number bonds to 10, so if we subtract 3, just like the last question, our units will have an our answer will have a units digit of 7, so we'll have, before 50, we have 47. And we can check that if we take away 1, 2, 3, we're left with 47. So we subtracted the units from our two-digit number to make a multiple of 10. We subtracted 6, and then we subtracted 3 more so that we'd subtracted 9 altogether. So 56 take away 9 is 47.